Here in this little pouch, I keep one of the staples of winter travel here in the eastern woodlands. Let's go ahead and get these out. There you have my very old Catula boot spikes. And I say very old because these things are over 10 years old. And I think that's important for this review. You can see the condition of the spikes themselves. You can see how well they've lasted over the years. And personally, I don't think you're going to find a set of spikes short of crampons that are going to give you more purchase on the ice and snow in the wintertime than these are going to give you. So I'll show you how easy these are to put on. There you go. There's the boot. You just slip them on over the toe. You kind of line up that front bar piece there and you just slip them over the back. We'll just do a little readjust here just to kind of get them perfect. And there they are, just that easy. You could be inside your car, slip those on in no time before you go into uh, your work or before you get out of your car to go over where it is you need to go. Say put these on as you're getting out of your car because while you can drive in them, I would not recommend it unless you've either practiced or, you know, have that skill. They can be kind of dangerous if you're not used to them. Getting these spikes off is just as easy as putting them on, so you can just slip them off your boots just like that as you're headed into your place of business or, again, wherever else your travels take you. Now I mentioned that I have had this pair for over a decade, and you can still see the great shape they're in. There's no rotting on that rubber, no cracking, no splitting whatsoever. And this is the reason why. Just a little bit of beeswax at the end of each season. I'll show you how we do this. But in the interest of brevity, as usual, let's go ahead and hit that fast forward. As you can see, just a thin coat on all parts of the rubber. Fairly simple. Let's go ahead and knock out this other one real quick. The reason I recommend beeswax is because it shouldn't damage any of your shoes, whether they be leather or some other type of material, since it's a natural product. It's kind of rare that you get a 10 year review on something, but these have held up so well that I thought I'd share them with you. If this video has been helpful to you in any way, shape, or form, I'd thoroughly appreciate a thumbs up like. Now go get you some beeswax, and I'll see you on the next video.